Yes, at long last my veneer supplies have shown up and it's time to tackle the front edge of this Filco 15DX. If you recall from my earlier videos, the top of this Filco 15DX console was pretty badly damaged. I ended up stripping the top and was able to salvage all the veneer except for the front strip. What I did was I removed the, uh, the remnants of it and whatever glue was left, uh, either with uh, sandpaper and uh, just a, uh, a razor blade scraping it down. Some of the voids that were left I filled in with uh, some wood filler, waited for it to dry, sanded it down and then scraped everything really smooth. I also cleaned up the, uh, the remaining edge with a utility knife and a straight edge. I then uh, went through my veneer and found a piece that matched the grain as best I could find and uh, was the right size. I cut it to fit, leaving a little bit of an overhang. I'll, clear, I'll uh, trim that up after, it, after the glue sets up, either with that utility knife or maybe I'll try using this, uh, this veneer saw. What, uh, what a veneer saw is, it's got an offset handle on it, kind of like a trowel and it has some fine teeth with no set to them. Set means the teeth are not twisted left and right like on a rip saw, so you get a nice fine cut. It's also got a curved blade so you can actually just kind of plunge in and start sawing anywhere instead of having to start at the end. Handy thing to have for veneer projects. I also picked up some veneer glue um, from Type Bond. I tried using just Type Bond uh, Type 2 general purpose wood glue and it worked okay but what I really like about this stuff is that it dries clear because I do expect there to be possibly some gaps between these two pieces or possibly the front edge. One thing I didn't anticipate though is that the new veneer is slightly thinner than the old veneer. Uh, I think that's just a uh, just the way veneer evolved over time is they make it a little bit thinner now than they used to. So what I'm going to try doing is just using a sheet or two of paper just along the back edge, maybe about halfway across. It's kind of a shim. Um, I'll glue it on top and the bottom and then the veneer and kind of a sandwich out of it to just give it a little, a little bit of a bump because they're actually really close. I'm only talking maybe like a sixty-fourth of an inch in, in difference in height. And then I'll just, uh, I won't put any paper on the front, so it should be pretty flush. I've got my clamps out, and I'll use some boards to distribute the pressure from the clamp. I mean, you wouldn't want to have all the pressure just on this small one inch diameter metal disc biting into the veneer because I'll just uh, really ruin it. So I will cut some paper, get out a brush, dampen it a little bit, spread out the glue as evenly as I can on both. The, uh, the substrate, paper, and the back of the veneer. Carefully place it, put my shims on top, and clamp it down. And uh, in a few hours, we'll see how it turned out. Oh, and the last thing I picked up was grain filler. I haven't used it before, but I've read lots about it online. Uh, open pour woods like veneer, or sorry, like walnut and mahogany. Um, if you were to just use the raw wood and then put on coats of lacquer, you're going to, the lacquer will just kind of conform to the grain, which is a little bit rough. By open grain, I mean it's got some pretty large pores in it. What grain filler is, it's kind of a paste. You apply it kind of like uh, with a spatula, spread it around and really work it in with uh, like a piece of burlap, and it will fill in all those pores and seal it tight. Once that's done, clear off the excess. Kind of like grouting tile, I guess you could say. Uh, but once that's done, uh, and I picked up brown, so it should be a pretty close ma color match. Once that's done, then you can start putting on your finish coats, and you'll have a lot less sanding to do, and you should end up with a really smooth surface, like the original veneer that's left on this. It's just like a, or sorry, the original lacquer that's still on this is like glass. I'm hoping to come somewhat close to that. Get my fingers crossed. All right, I've got everything clamped down. I put a piece of paper between my, uh, I guess you call it a, uh, 
a pressure board to uh, distribute the, uh, the pressure of the three clamps evenly across the piece of veneer. Put some paper in between so everything wouldn't, uh, the board wouldn't get glued down to the veneer. That's just sort of a release paper. And I put some pieces of wood underneath with a, uh, with the bottom of the clamps uh, hits the old radio so I don't uh, crush that wood. I cranked these down as hard as I could and uh, so it's to wait about two hours and then I'll uh, loosen it up and see what we got. Alright here we are about three hours later and it came out really well. Uh, it's a little bit uneven, but uh, I'll simply uh, scrape that down. In fact, I already did a little bit. There's some glue residue in there and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that that's, that's there's not much of a height difference at all. So my little paper shim underneath this worked out well, and it seems to be glued down really nice and no ripple at all. Now, if you don't put enough, if you don't, if you don't clamp it down tight enough. When you put the glue on this and it gets damp, this can start curling up, or you could have air pockets and whatnot. And this seems just fine. I guess the only minor flaw I've seen is there's a little bit of a gap in here, and a uh, simple way you can take care of that is uh, I've got these shaved bits of walnut for me scraping down uh, some of the raised areas along the seam. You can just mix that with a little bit of wood glue and, and make your own wood filler. So it's, it'll match the, uh, match the color. I'll let this dry for another day or two and then start the painstaking process of very carefully trimming this to be perfectly flush with this front edge. It's probably about a quarter inch overhang all the way around. So stay tuned and I'll show you how that turns out.